Hi Capricorn and welcome to your tarot video scope for April 2016 by AMA. You may reach me at amalightworker.com or amalightworker at gmail.com if you do need to schedule a private consultation with me to open your personal Akashic messages uh, or if you want me to do a psychic tarot reading, energy clearing, energy healing, a Reiki session, a birthday reading, a face reading uh, or a tone rent session. The general feelings that I'm picking up, they have a lot to do with um, finding the solution to a problem, some matters that are uh, related to your home, buying a home, or just wealth in a general, and a wish come uh, true. Let's break it down one by one. And uh, before I start, let me remind you that uh, you need to also check out not only your sun sign, but also your rising sign and your moon sign. Because sometimes if one sign doesn't make sense to you, maybe uh, you can uh, relate ba better through your rising sign or through your moon sign. And please do like, share and subscribe. By subscribing, you allow me to take messages for you as well. So in the position representing you, you have the hermit. Let me show you the card. And the Hermit, it is a card that denotes going within, soul uh, searching. This is one of your spirit guides, like lightening uh, the way for you, sending you ideas that to you they feel uh, like your uh, own. Uh, it also denotes seeking, finding, completing, perfecting, uh, and solving a, a problem. I do feel that the main reason that this card showed up is because it is a time for you to go within, uh, to reevaluate your situation, your uh, feelings. Um, something is uh, something requires your attention, and you also have to find uh, a solution to this uh, problem. I, I do feel that it could be an old problem that comes around, but now it's time for you to find new ways to approach these problems or new solutions. It has a lot to do with your own personal matters, personal uh, developments, and uh, what you need to change in order for you to bring more wealth or to feel more well-balanced for you as a person. So these matters could be what you need to change in your love life, what you need to change in your uh, career, what, um, is it, what else is it that you can do based on your own abilities. So something like that comes up. But I also do feel like other people are going to come to you so you can provide solutions uh, for them. This could be family members, uh, friends. It's like everybody wants you to kind of solve their problems or to step in and give them some advice or uh, guidance. It's like you're the little investigator and not only you have to uh, find out find out the truth for your own self but also for people uh, around you in the position of what could be crossing you you have the moon and the moon it is a card that denotes your uh, inner emotions your inner disturbances boredom situations that are, are of uh, situations could be deceptive or changeable in an area of your interest right now. You need to have more uh, in information or sort of unveil the truth. So I do feel that some of you are a lot for boredom and now you are figuring out what else can I do for fun so I'm not so uh, bored. Your feelings around a job, around your home or around a love partner are changing. They're like one time you're not bothered or other times you are bothered. And this could also be from other situations or other people around you. If you find yourself that there is someone new in your life, whether it is a co-worker, a friend, a lover, and they do need you to help you in some way, I do feel that they could be deceiving you in some way or maybe not telling you the whole truth so and i also keep getting the sense that somehow your intuition is picking up on that and you will need to sort out this uh, uh situ situation like who's deceiving you if you have to make a decision related to maybe a move a travel 
um, or even around a home, buying a home or something like that, I do feel like your feelings around that are changing. Maybe you wanted to do a move, but now you're rethinking that. Maybe you wanted to buy a house, but now you're uh, rethinking that. So you have a little bit like going back and forth with your emotions as well. But again, um, my guys want me to put a lot of more emphasis in the idea that some situations or some people around you could de be deceiving you. Um, but again, they're saying that this situation is going to be temporary because you are going to figure out uh, how they're deceiving you or who this person uh, is that is deceiving uh, you around you. In the position of uh, what's above you, you have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups to me is the soulmate card. It also denotes like feeling nostalgic, uh, memories, um, focusing on the simple pleasures of uh, life, having this like a mental break from like every day's uh, life requirements and pressures uh, of life, taking a moment to uh, smell uh, the roses. It could be also reunions of uh, some sort. Some of you could run into someone that you used to be associated with or that you knew from uh, your past. Someone could uh, come to visit you from your past. I do have a strong feeling that it could be like a younger cousin or a cousin that you haven't seen in a long time or uh, a friend. Some of you, it could also be for some of you, not all of you, but some of you could also starting to have a soulmate uh, connection or a soulmate relationship with a new love partner. And if this doesn't make sense to you, maybe you already have a love partner and this is a general reading after all. I do feel that uh, you are going to be blessed through friendships. So important friendships are entering your, your life, at least one important friend with whom you have this soulmate connection like in, uh, with, this, uh, with this interaction, with this friendship interaction. And this is how a soulmate comes in uh, for you guys. In the position of the, what's the root cause, for this you have the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles, it is a card that is good to have in matters of uh, wealth and prosperity. It denotes, it brings you opportunities to improve matters of wealth, prosperity, homes, uh, property as well. So I do feel that some of you are figuring out your financial side, credit lines, mortgages, and you could be investing into buying a new home. You are looking into chances and opportunities to buy a new home. This could be that maybe you already have a home or maybe you recently bought a home and now you need to have some home improvements and you are investing your money and figuring out what else you need to uh, improve uh, this home, to do some home repair and home improvements or buy something uh, for uh, the home. Um, if you are someone who has other properties, this is, uh, I also keep getting the chance that through this card you are given the chance to own more than one property, chances for you to do more with the properties that you have, to get more money through the properties that you have, but also to buy uh, new uh, properties. It's like you are going to go through like this reevaluation of your financial matters in the sense that what else can you do to bring more income? What else can you do to make better money or to increase your cash uh, flow? How can you invest into something that eventually is going to keep on uh, creating uh, uh, money for you and you don't have to worry so much uh, around issues of um, money. And at the very least, you are going to see maybe like an increase in your uh, cre in your credit line, uh, so, some, something like that. So generally, again, it's good for matters of wealth and uh, prosperity. In the position of the recent past, you have the chariot. Generally, when the chariot falls in the position of the recent past, it denotes a past lover 
could come back to you, you could hear from a past lover. It also denotes positively moving forward, overcoming obstacles, uh, victory, being able uh, after a thorough evaluation uh, of, her, of um, going within, uh, re-examining your affairs, uh, the good and the bad, the positive and the ne and negative, being able to move forward after you reassess uh, your situation or your current uh, affairs. For some of you, is, uh, you could be reassessing your love situation, your love life, and uh, figure out what to do in order for you to uh, move forward or to bring some changes to your love life, whether um, uh, in the sense that maybe you are single and now you need to figure out what you need to do not to be single anymore if this is your choice or if you are already in a couple maybe there is some boredom in this relationship and what can you do to overcome some obstacles some of you you already started uh, some trips, some uh, a journey, or a huge change in your life because it falls in the position of the recent past. So for some of you, you already started uh, to implement some uh, changes. There could be some obstacles as well of uh, related to a travel, travel plans, maybe having to go over it and having to run through some delays or other obstacles or change of plans related to some sort of a tra travel uh, plans uh, as well. So generally it denotes moving positively forward and overcoming your obstacles and uh, victory. In the position of the near future, you have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords denotes... Um, it uh, denotes a messenger, information, knowledge of a secret closely guarded. It seems to me like whatever the answer was to this soul searching or to this deceptive, deceptive or changeable situation around you, now you finally did find the answer, did find the secret. It could be that maybe you have some uh, secret feelings and now uh, it's time for you to, uh, for these feelings, to, uh, secret feelings to come out or maybe other people's secrets around you are coming out so the right information is coming at the right time and is going to provide for you like a huge breakthrough uh, really uh, making you feel like now I know which direction uh, to go I have a purpose I am determined to go this way or that way but generally it denotes like finally making up your mind and your decision and ready to uh, take action this news could be related to someone under the sign of uh, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, Sun sign, Rising sign or uh, Moon sign. Um, it could be a love partner for some of you, this uh, situation around um, this particular zodiac sign. In the position of uh, internally how you feel, you have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, it is a card that denotes disappointment, stagnation, boredom, um, taking things for granted or um, refuse to acknowledge the good. I do feel that now that you made this uh, decision to move forward, now you are looking at your options, maybe different options to buy a home, improve your uh, house, options in love, or different options that are related to your own spiritual fulfillment and spiritual development. I do feel like you are now realizing that whatever you did so far is no longer serving you and you are now ready to let go of what no longer serves you. And when this happens, suddenly you have this sudden opportunity, this sudden good news that shows up and to brighten your spirits so you're living these times of your life when you were bored and now your social life is speaking more is like fun 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 and ready for you to move forward you could have some sort of a good news coming to you to lift your spirits maybe through uh, your family or through loved uh, loved ones in the position of people in the environment around you, you have the magician. And the magician, it is the card to me that, that denotes wish fulfillment. At least one wish comes uh, comes true. It is the card of manifestation. What you think about, you bring about. Um, so the universe will provide everything that you need in order for you to have at least one wish fulfillment. Whether it is um, your uh, financial situation, financial means, the right opportunities, the right people, the right chances. In order for you to move forward, it's like your are given a chance to shine to be bright to go out there and celebrate to be, feel uh, victorious it could be that maybe you are turning into a magician maybe you are interested in matters of white magic black magic uh, real magic spirituality uh, anything uh, like that it can also be that you are now realizing that 
um, you have some control over your emotions, over some situations. Therefore, you have the power to transform this situation, just like a magician, in a way that is going to work better for you. It's like learning how to make lemonade out of uh, lemons. So at least one wish fulfillment is coming uh, to, uh, to you. In the position of... Um, Hopes, fears, and wishes, you have the Empress. And the Empress, again, it is a card that denotes abundance generally. Uh, so it denotes one of your female guides, a mother, a grandmother, a grand-grandmother, an aunt, uh, a teacher, a mentor, someone uh, that is part of your soul, a karmic family. So you don't have to necessarily have known this uh, female guide uh, in your lifetime because she is part of your uh, um, spiritual family that is showing up in your reading to give you blessings or to give you a uh, warning. So generally, this card is good for matters of self-expression, socializing, long or short distance trips, abundance, and some Sometimes it also denotes uh, a pregnancy. So some of you could have some fears or concerns or even hopes to get uh, pregnant um, in, uh, uh, in April. All you are working toward um, October this issue, figuring, figuring out maybe fertility uh, issues and you may have some sort of a breakthrough in the next uh, three uh, months. I do feel that uh, there is also a sense that uh, you are devoting more time to yourself uh, as a way for you to better express yourself. I do feel that if you are a Capricorn who wants always uh, into helping others and never made time for yourself, but always focusing on your partner, your children, parents. I do feel like this time around you are using this energy to really focus on your own personal uh, matters. So your social life is picking up. This could be like uh gatherings around uh, around you you could be hosting um uh something um or this could also be celebrations around uh a child like a birthday a baby shower something like that that it doesn't have to be necessarily be yours but you are part of this uh celebration uh, you are also it also means creativity you are going to feel very creative creative these solutions for yourself feeling creative feeling inspired maybe playing a little bit with fabric with uh, your appearance anything like that when you feel uh, more creative and it's uh, a lot of fun as well but also you are spending a lot of time uh, outdoors and uh, the outcome you have the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles it is the wealth card it denotes harmony comfort in your family loyalty it also means be generous I do feel like you could be one of those situations from my family to your family and you could be stepping in to help someone uh, in need with like something symbolic or re really to give them some sort of a practical help. You could be hosting uh, your family or your home is like at the center of attention uh, people coming to you so you could be hosting again an event or people traveling and you are hosting uh, them. It could be some sort of a good news coming to you from family that is related as two money matters so maybe your partner's money is increasing and therefore that's how that news uh, find, uh, finds you so there is generally it denotes some sort of a good financial uh, news it's coming uh, to you that allows you to, to have the peace the comfort and then the harmony that you deserve in matters of uh, family and uh, finance so that was uh, part one of the reading. Let's move on to the second part. And again, let me remind you, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, these messages may not make sense to you. And do check out not only your sun sign, but also your rising sign and your moon sign. Your word... Your world is about to change. Your intuition will heighten. You will gain clarity over some deep personal issues. You may feel emotionally as things are upside down, falling apart. But this is happening because you need to be fixed again into a stronger emotional being. Karma and karmic resolutions will play an important role starting from this moment. Karmic events will happen again in this lifetime for you to realize your true power. As you are transitioning into this new stage, 
some of you will experience, you will experience some separations of some sort and new people entering your life some issues from the past will come back to you you may also experience this as a deja vu moment something that already happened could happen again with different people uh, at a different place but the scenario or the script is still the same you may have to face your worst fear your inner demons if you want to move forward in a positive way don't put too much or too little emphasis on the importance of money um, do you have enough to support your living and to be comfortable a more spiritual approach to money could be very beneficial to you as part of your journey to find a better karmic balance the more you will work toward your personal happiness the more you will open your heart letting go of uh, what is holding you back and then you are going to see financial blessings coming to you if you are a couple or in a couple you may be temporarily apart from your partner due to work due to travel or other reasons take this time apart as an opportunity to focus on you your inner self your emotional self to reevaluate refocus your goals for the future that are valid for you at this time as a person uh, if you are single you will have a moment of enlightenment passion and joy you will have the power to attract anyone you want to take advantage of this uh, this energy now coming uh, to you you may feel more spontaneous than general again reach out to me if you do need to have a personal consultation with me uh, at amalightworker.com or at amalightworker at gmail.com have a great month and i'll see you next time